Now that we know the definition of a group, let's play group or not group, the integer edition. For each question, I'll tell you the elements and the operation, and you have to decide if it's a group. And remember, to be a group, you need five things. A close operation, an identity element, inverses, associativity, and a thumb. No, there's really only a need for four things. The integers under addition. Yes, the identity element zero is an integer. If you add two integers, you get a third integer. The opposite of any integer is also an integer. And addition is associative, so this is a group. The even integers under addition. Yes, the identity element zero is an even integer. Adding two even numbers gives you an even integer. And the opposite of an even integer is even. And of course we have associativity. The odd integers under addition. No, no way. Sure, it's associative, and we have inverses, but if you add two odd numbers, you get an even number. And the identity element zero is not odd. You gotta have an identity. The integers under multiplication? No, not even close. Zero doesn't have an inverse, since you cannot divide by zero. And other than one and negative one, the multiplicative inverse of an integer is not an integer. All multiples of seven under addition? Yes, you're right, this is a group. Nice going. Hmm. Remember, seven times any integer is a multiple of seven. And zero is a multiple of seven, since it is seven times zero. In fact, zero is a multiple of everything. We have associativity because these are integers after all. An arbitrary element of this group can be written as 7x and the inverse of this is 7 times negative x. And lastly, if you add two elements, 7x and 7y, you get 7 times x plus y, which is also a multiple of 7. Thank you for playing group or not group. Johnny, what do our contestants win?